Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of my Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Mega Park. Uh, the park is uh, growing and growing, and there's just a few spots remaining to fill in. Uh, last episode, I mostly worked on this area over here, so I added some rides here on the mountainside. Uh, added an extra path here, extra tunnels, uh, stuff like that. I think that uh, really helped make this area here come together. I think it also provides some great path interaction uh, for this hyper coaster over here. So um, the biggest area in the park that's still left to be filled in is this area over here. Um, oh, the, map sc the game scrolls a bit uh, wildly sometimes. Um, yeah, I've, I've asked in the comments what kind of ride I should build here. I got a lot of suggestions. But in the end, uh, I think a ride that will fit here nicely is, uh, in fact, uh, a flying roller coaster. Because that's a kind of a ride type that we don't have yet in the park. We have several sit downs, we have uh, uh, an invert, but uh, I also kind of want to have a flying coaster. Now, the flying coaster uh, in this game uh, does not really add too much uh, in the form of new elements. But I should be able to make a, at least make a pretzel loop uh, using half loops uh, instead of the quarter loops that I like to use in OpenRC2. Now, of course, the thing that this game does add uh, when you uh, make a flying coaster is, of course, that you will be able to actually ride the coaster. And that should give us a, a nice uh, experience after we have built it. So, yeah, um, I think that's uh, enough of an introduction. So... Uh, Let's uh, get on with building the flying coaster. Now one thing uh, you should always be careful of uh, in RST3 but also in uh, RST2 is uh, when you do a twist like this, uh, a roll, then after the roll is done, and, uh, if you want to do a helix or a curved drop or any kind of bank track, um, you should always try to make sure that the banking uh, looks smooth. So for example here the twist ends. Now if I do a bank track to the other side, you can see there's this weird kink in the track and it just looks uh, a bit awkward. So it's uh, it's best to uh, prevent that. It will generally look much nicer if after this element you bank in the other direction. So for example, if we bank in this direction, it will uh, look much nicer. So uh, that's why after this twist, uh, I'm simply going to curve uh, to this side and I think it will look nicest if we just uh, drop down here and maybe try to follow this uh, diagonal.
All right, I've now put the layout together for the flying coaster. Now I'm really happy with this uh, layout. I think this uh, is a great, uh, yeah, a great uh, final big addition to the park. Obviously, uh, it's not completely finished yet, but uh, yeah, this will be the biggest uh, addition uh, I will do uh, to the park. So yeah, I think this layout fits here uh, in, in the corner very nicely. It uh, very nicely follows this kind of uh, like an L shape. Now I managed to uh, get a pretzel loop into the layout, which I'm also uh, quite happy with. It sits here nice and uh, in the middle, and uh, for sure it must be really uh, fun for the guests uh, to watch. Now, and for the rest of the layout, just uh, several twists. I also made uh, a small uh, section where the guests are actually lying on their backs. <laughs> Must be quite awkward for them, especially this uh, drop here. But again, uh, I think it's a nice addition to the ride. So here's a half twist. And finally here, again, there's a full twist. Now when you're building a flying coaster or a laydown coaster, you should always remember that most of the ride, for most of the ride, the guests should actually uh, be on uh, suspended below the track. That's probably how it will be the most comfortable for the guests. And that's also how the rides are uh, meant to be uh, to be built. But of course, it's, uh, it's a fantasy game, so you can uh, always uh, make it uh, the way you want it. And if you prefer the guests to be laying on their backs for most of the track, uh, you can always just make it like that. Okay, um, what's next for me for this coaster? is uh, gonna be doing landscaping under the coaster. Now, for a lot of the layout, this coaster is uh, far above the ground. I kind of want it to follow the land, so that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I'm going to slightly redo these paths here, but for sure, uh, I think this is some nice uh, interaction here, especially in this uh, curve, which uh, uh, goes uh, over the path here. Okay, I've now placed one of these uh, elements here, what are they called again? Ride events. So as soon as the guests arrive somewhere around here, this uh, shark should start uh, going forward over this track, I guess. Yeah, um, let's just uh, see what happens. Uh, I think I'll just fast forward it a bit until the train arrives. So let's do that now. Alright, I'm uh, curious to see uh, how this works. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I think it will look cool from the ride as well. And uh, at first I thought it might be a little bit, uh, it might start a bit too fast, but it actually starts uh, yapping at the train uh, as soon as it's under it. So I think it sits uh, very nicely here. I'll just cover it up with some, uh, with some boulders and uh, stuff.
All right, with the landscaping now uh, mostly done, um, I think it's time to start building the station. Now uh, here, for uh, <laughs> for once, I didn't do a giant fern spam like in most of the map, but I actually kind of made it look like a little bit more uh, a dead area. So I put some brown bushes, uh, some of these palms which have a more uh, yellow color than the palms that I usually use, and. Uh, yeah, just some uh, some different plants. I think this uh, helps give this uh, area its uh, its own character. Okay, um, with that, I think we can now open the ride. Um, and while I'm uh, building the station for the coaster, I will also start uh, thinking of a nice name for it. Alright, since I'm uh, running out of uh, flat land to build uh, my buildings on uh, before I place them over the coasters, uh, I decided to just uh, build the station above the plot of land here that I needed. Uh, that way it was actually really easy to get the floor plan that I needed. Uh, removing the building was a little bit more annoying because I want to keep these paths, but uh, I should now be able to place down the station. So let's uh, let's do that now. Okay, I've named the coaster Shark Attack, and while I was at it, I placed another shark over here, uh, just for that extra bit of interaction. I think this will look pretty funny in the in the eventual uh, POV video, which will be at the, the end of this uh, of this video. Alright, not really sure sure if it's uh, actually visible when you're riding it, but uh, <laughs> it does look uh, quite silly and uh, and, f and fun. Alright, um, what I'm going to do next is build some uh, shops and stalls over here uh, just to fill up this uh, this area. Or maybe actually I can uh, fit a gentle ride. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find uh, anything that, uh, that fits here.
All right, I uh, decided to add a little trampolines right here. Um, I think it fills this space uh, pretty well. And well, also I built some uh, shops and stalls here. Uh, basically this shop here sells ice cream and this one sells lemonade. And I also made some toilets uh, behind here. I hope the guests can actually reach it now that there's this door in between. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to see. And with that out of the way, I think it's time to add another patron to the park. Alright, since this entertainer will be walking around this uh, coaster called Shark Attack, of course uh, we had to make him a shark and he will be named Swarmoth. So uh, thanks a lot Swarmoth for uh, becoming a patron and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it and uh, I hope you enjoy your spot in the park. Okay, um, this area could still use some uh, foliage, but uh, I'll save that for uh, one of the next episodes. Just a few more to go, but uh, one of them will for sure... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, in one of them I will for sure add a lot more foliage and decorations to several areas. And this area is uh, one of them, just uh, to finish it up uh, a little bit. Alright, I think now it's then time uh, for the moment you have all been waiting for, probably. I've been waiting for it myself uh, as well. And that is uh, taking a ride on the new flying coaster. Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed watch, uh, watching me build and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later! <laughs>